The other day I was scrolling on TikTok and I stumbled upon this account that reposts clips from this old cooking show called Sandra Lee Semi Homemade. I don't wanna give too much away except this show truly blew me away. In love with it. <laughs> this show is psychotic, maybe partially uh, cursed vibes. All right, first clip we're gonna watch from this cooking show. As I was editing this video, I couldn't help but notice what the fuck is going on with my hair? I thought I was having a really good hair day from the front, and every time I turn to the side in this video, it makes my skin crawl. I don't know what's going on with my bangs, and I don't know why it looks like I have a bowl cut on the side. And I don't know why a piece of hair is sticking up at the top of my head. Clearly, I'm going through something. So please, just be kind to me this time. Sandra Lee, baked potato ice cream. Simple to make, I just need a pint of vanilla ice cream. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this container off of the ice cream because I need the whole thing of ice cream. And just like that, be careful with the knife. Already, this is too difficult for me. I don't want to slice the outer carton of an ice cream. I would like to just scoop it out, keep it simple, scoop it out. Too dangerous already. Now, just take this, and I've already laid plastic wrap out on my cutting board. And you're gonna roll it like this. And then take these ends right here and roll them this way. And then this around like so. Now what I want to do here is work the ice cream a little bit into the shape of a potato. And then what you need to do is come in. <laughs> if we're shaping the ice cream into a potato, why did I have to cut the carton off of the ice cream? Could have just scooped it in and then formed it in the plastic wrap. The knife seems like an unnecessary, dangerous additional tool that's, you know, dangerous. I don't know what baked potato ice cream is, but already shaping uh, ice cream in saran wrap into the shape of a potato. Weird. <laughs> Weird. Here in the center and make yourself a little ravine because in here you're gonna fill this up with all sorts of good things. Wrap these nice and tight. And then this is gonna go back into the freezer because it needs to stay nice and cold and hard. Now I wanna show This isn't really a recipe so much as it is an art project, you know? <laughs> show you how to make the butter. The butter is super simple to make and what you need for this is lemon icing. Pretty yellow lemon icing. If you don't have that, you can use a- Lemon icing, pretty yellow lemon icing. Lemon. I love the way she says her lemon. Lemon icing, lemon, <laughs> lemon, lemon, lemon. Of course, vanilla icing, yellow food coloring, but it has to be yellow. Now, if you've ever wondered what to do with the top of your butter dish, this is a great mold. I was trying to figure out what would give me the shape of butter. And I looked at this and thought, mm hmm, that's it. If you've ever wondered, <laughs> If you ever wondered what to do with the top of your butter dish, besides, of course, uh, using it to cover your butter, what's really cool is you can actually put yellow frosting inside of it, but you have to layer it with plastic wrap, and then um, it's gonna f make the icing into the shape of a stick of butter. In case you were wondering on a, you know, on a whim what to do with the top of your butter dish. <laughs> Sorry, Sandra, I'm really coming for you. There we go. Nope, you're coming off. I know you want to stay. Mm, okay. Super. Doesn't look like a potato. That does not look like a big potato. So far, it looks like a uh, mozzarella, perhaps, or ice cream that was shaped funny into a funny little shape. I want to put something down so that I don't have ice cream sliding everywhere. And that's a little bit of cocoa. This is all 
also going to go all around my ice cream baked potato. So take this, pop this right on here. That's a great bed. And then you're going to take this cocoa and you're going to sprinkle it all over your baked potato. Ew, dude. Just plain cocoa. Plain cocoa powder is disgusting. Have you ever had a plain cocoa powder in your mouth? It's disgusting. <laughs> it tastes so bad and bitter. Why is she not using like hot cocoa mix or something? She's just using plain cocoa powder. <laughs> like this is a terrible recipe. This is nuts mode, but also the fact that she said we're just gonna use a little cocoa powder and then dumped a pile of cocoa powder onto this platter is like, I truly cannot believe this. It's so crazy. Is this not the craziest thing? Come in here with your hands. And now take the cocoa from the inside of your little ravine there out because that's where the topping is gonna go. I wanna just wash my hands real quickly. Okay, now before I put my slice, that looked like a pile of dog shit. <laughs> Today we're making poo poo ice cream. So basically what we're gonna do is mold ice cream in the shape of poo poo and then we're gonna cover it in bitter cocoa powder so it looks like poo poo. And pop that right into here nice big piece of butter in my baked potato and then on the top of this i have taken pistachios and added green food dye to them these are nice and chopped and i want to just spoon these out and sprinkle them all over the top and that is going to be my chives how cute is this dessert I Chopping up pistachios and putting food dye on them is such a weird way to make chives. Like at this point, just use green sprinkles, you know? At this point, just use real chives, actually. Just put onion on this at this point. Nobody's gonna eat it anyway. It's gonna taste like shit. With all that cocoa powder, a thick one inch layer of cocoa powder on my ice cream. Yum, my favorite. That's my favorite way to eat ice cream. All right, the next recipe we're gonna watch is a fried chicken salad. I'm gonna use these wonderful little popcorn chicken. This is just chicken breast that has been floured and fried for you and seasoned a bit. Now, this goes into the oven at 425 for 10 minutes. I get that the concept of this show is semi homemade, but the fact that she's like, so buy this frozen chicken, put it on a pan and throw it in the oven. That's inc an incredible concept for a show. <laughs> what if I just had a cooking show? Oh my God. Okay. That would be like me having a cooking show and I just put Totino's on a baking sheet and go, so you're just gonna put these in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes and you've got dinner. <laughs> Totino's pizza roll chicken, popped it into the oven, and now it's nice and baked up. This is going to make the best fried chicken salad in the world with little, little work. And the dressing that goes on that salad is a half a cup of ranch dressing. And to this, you just want to add two tablespoons of dried barbecue rub. This gives great flavor and it's absolutely delicious if you're thinking about doing an outdoor. The recipe for the dressing is dressing with dry rub in it, which is questionable. Her dry rub to ranch ratio seemed off. That looked like way too much dry rub seasoning in the ranch. Like that would be so, so, so salty and like not good. A little dry? That seems a little like putting dirt in your mouth at that point. 
Now this is an English cucumber and what's great about using these is that there's no wax on the outside so you can actually eat the skin but I want to do something a little decorative. Just take this off, take this off, but leave some of the skins on so that when you cut this you have a very pretty little striped effect. This show feels like it's for aliens who like have never cooked before and don't know what food is, right? This feels like it's like, this is for somebody who does not know how to cook in any capacity, I think. And then you're just gonna cut this into little thin slices. And I love romaine lettuce because it looks like nice little slices of lace when you cut it thinly. I've never heard that before. What? <laughs> what? And I love romaine lettuce because it looks like nice little pieces of lace when you cut it. No, it doesn't. It looks like lettuce chopped up. It looks like lace. <laughs> what is she saying? I feel like... I don't think she had a script or anything and they were just like, this is off the cuff, just say it. And she was like, I love lettuce. I love romaine lettuce because it looks like lace when you cut it thinly. <laughs> what does that mean? I've never thought that about lettuce in my life and I truly do not comprehend that statement. Leave a comment down below if you think lettuce, when it's chopped, looks like lace. <laughs> now I'm gonna build myself a nice salad. A little salad here in the center. A couple tomatoes. And maybe a carrot or two. Or three, love these. And a little bit of dressing and just drizzle this over the top. Now you could of course toss this if you were serving this at a dinner party. Now I'm gonna put some of this popcorn chicken on the top, little pieces, and you have a wonderful dish. <laughs> Can you believe that? Did you see that final product? That's the final product. Lettuce with huge chunks of tomato, three baby carrots, a couple cucumbers, and some Tyson fried baked chicken with some ranch dressing mixed with dry rub. This show's incredible. <laughs> this is incredible. I love this show. This is like, the coolest thing I've ever seen. This woman is an icon, truly. Well, I must say I feel pretty changed after watching some Sandra Lee recipes. Um, and I'm realizing that I would, I would, I really would like to be her. <laughs> She's cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I made fun of her, but she's also awesome, and I have a lot of respect for the lady, okay? That show is cool. It kind of feels like she's trolling a little bit. And she found something that works for her. And this is a message to everybody. Just find something that works for you. <laughs> this is why thousands of Americans are throwing their toe fungus creams in the trash. Want to know how to get rid of your toe fungus for good? then you must see this. Top medical doctor shows a 53-year-old woman who suffered from toenail fungus for over 12 years his all-natural way to regrow healthy nails and reclaim pink, healthy toes in record time. An American Nobel Prize... What is this ad? Oh my God. Has discovered a natural way to reclaim the healthy pink... If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Please hit the bell. Thank you.